Hello everybody. Welcome back. Yes, I'm being silly. I've got my sugar skull earrings on here. Can't tell if you can see them or not. You can get a better look at them on my Instagram video, which is still uploading on my cat ears. We're doing another beer from the pub pack. We've already done Joy Bus Wow. I've already done Gilt uh, Kilt Lifter, if I recall, at another time, and the Gilt Lifter is the low calorie version of that. So that's three. And then we have Hop Knot. So Gilt Lifter, Kilt Lifter, Hop Knot, Joy Buzz, Peach, I'm still missing one. Let me get the box. Okay, here we are. Those are the five. Kilt Lifter, Hop Knot, Joy Bus Wow, Peach, and Gilt Lifter. Okay, so I did actually get them all that time. I had done another video with the peach, but I lift left out one of the one of the varieties. But anyway. Yes, we've done the Kilt Lifter, not in a can, in a pack, but in a bottle, in an earlier video, a while back. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It is basically your standard Scottish ale. Whatever. So, we've also done, I think, Dirty Bastard on here as well, I think. And they're, they're very similar. So I won't be doing that again unless you want me to. You can put a um, comment down below and let me know if, if you haven't seen that review. It's buried in my library somewhere, but if you want me to uh, redo it, just let me know because I've got a couple of them in there. <laughs> and I was going to do Hot Nut as well, but I got to thinking. I, I did try it off camera and it is to me a basic IPA there's nothing really spectacular about it so I don't think it really warrants a video after all so we're just gonna do this pour into crystal skull it's a nice color small head can smell the peaches. It smells like canned peaches. It tastes like canned peaches. It's um, it's like somebody took the the syrup out of a can of peaches and put it in beer. That's what it tastes like. But I have no problem with that because I, as a kid I grew up with canned fruit, so canned peaches are fine for fine with me. My mom used to do random weird salads, if you can call them that. Or you put a, li uh, a leaf or two of iceberg lettuce on a plate with either a half of a peach, canned of course, or half of a canned pear with cottage cheese. <laughs> Go figure. It sounds weird, but it was actually interesting and kind of tasty. And basically, this is that's what this reminds me of is those canned peaches I used to eat when I was a kid. And I've had them not too long ago, you know, Kroger has case lot sales and sometimes when you're broke you buy the canned fruit because it's something to eat and it's sick <laughs> and it tastes good. So basically, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about this. It, straight up peach. Um, kind of the way um, Atomic Pumpkin, which is a different brand, but same kind of setup, flavor-wise. It's in your face, you can taste it. You know what you're drinking, but as soon, as soon as you give it a whiff, you can smell it, you can taste it. And that's what I like sometimes. Sometimes a subtle flavor isn't bad, but I think I like subtle flavors better if it's gonna be like a hard seltzer. Although sometimes I like some of the hard seltzers to have more of a flavor to them too. But for me though, with a beer, since it's already a heavier, heavier libation, 
you might want a little bit more punch to it to balance out the flavor of the beer. And that delivers on that it is very, very, yes, it's, yeah, it's a crisp, peachy taste. Like I said, it's like canned peaches in a, in a glass. Um, let's see, if the ABV, I forgot to read the ABV to you, it's 4.5, which is not bad. Again, it's sessionable. Excuse me, it's fruity. It's a crisp taste. Um, I don't know what you'd pair it with. Unless you're old school like me, I guess. You could probably have it with cottage, a cottage cheese salad if you really want to go down that nostalgia route. But, you know, so it would it basically... It would pair with dairy or something savory, but not heavy. So, you know, to balance the sweet with the savory, it would be really good. In my previous video where I did a redo of my review for Four Peaks Pumpkin Porter, which I've done on this channel before, I got everybody up to date on my moving situation. Um, we still have both both modes of transportation lined up. The U-Haul is a backup to the trailer in case my brother-in-law, um, who's in between jobs right now, gets a job and has to send somebody else up to help me move. Then we'll have the U-Haul and then whoever's going to be driving will be driving. Um, and then the trailer, of course, if he still is able to make it. But the move is still on. Um, like I said, both store, also both stores have verbally approved my transfer. Transfer. The kicker right now is the computer because the software hasn't updated at my store yet, so I can't put in. I can't put in the official request. And to me, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you would think personnel should be able to do that for you. You shouldn't have to do it yourself. <sighs> Although personnel does have to put in the requisition. And as I said before, yes, requisition. I have to be requisitioned like a piece of inventory. So I'm... Uh, I tried today again. Um, she wasn't in. Yesterday I was told to call 10 o'clock. She should be in at 10 o'clock, so I called at 10. She wasn't there. I could try again, but if she's not there, she's not there. It's, you know, just call, calling is not going to make it happen. Um, it's already Wednesday. I've been attempting to get this transfer rolling since Saturday, since the 11th. I literally, literally started on the 11th. And it is now the 15th. And the only day I missed going uh, going back or trying to call is, was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Either Saturday. Well, yeah, it would have been Sunday or Monday. I think it was Monday. Yeah, I missed Monday because the bike assemblers were doing some work and I couldn't get to the back. So basically, yeah, I took the 11th, the 12th, the 14th, tried to call the other store yesterday, tried to call the other store today. So please keep your fingers crossed for me because they want me on that end. They're okay with me leaving on this end. It's just the transfer itself, which apparently I have to put in myself. And I was told to wait until this week because with the software update, it would get lost. So basically, my store hasn't updated their software yet. Which means it could still get lost. So I've got to try and call her. I'll try again tomorrow morning. And I'll make you trying. I'm going to try and call her tomorrow morning, and if I can't get her tomorrow morning, then I'll call Friday morning. Tomorrow, in the meantime, I'm going to 
tomorrow I'm going to try and get with personnel on my end again and ask them, can they please remove the roadblock to my transfer, which is the assessment which I don't need. And keep your fingers crossed for me that she's not busy, not in a bad mood, and is willing to do that for me because that will help. If she can get that off, then I can proceed with this. So wish me luck. And again, recap on the beer. Like I said, um, it's not a high ABV. It's very sessionable. It's bright and fruity and crisp. And it would pair with something perhaps savory and salty to balance it out. Or you can drink it by itself. So, it's a short video, but when it's not a complex brew, there's not a whole lot to say. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to see more of my videos in your inbox. Share them if you like. And again, uh, remember to follow the rules, reverse masquerade. It's up to you whether you get the shot or not at this point still. Um, have a wonderful day. Keep looking for Halloween because it's looking for you. Love you guys. Bye.